So this adventure was introduced in yesterday's update. And he's gonna help me level up my golden dragon. By doing floor 6. In a cycle. Infinitely. Alone, because I had no friends to do it with, to do it with me before as my frag bot. So let's go. Now, before I start, let me check the XP. Okay. Now we can keep that in mind and I'll show you how it's done. Well, how I do it. I wouldn't say this is the most efficient way, but I would prefer to clear with a hype because I can and it's slightly faster if you can't. I guess you can use explosive arrows in the term. If you want to do this, you would need a term to do this. Or if you're really good with AOTS, you can kinda AOTS with Giant Sword and clear with Juju, I guess. But it's gonna be a lot less efficient. And, and as a method, as I was saying, is uh, you can also do Ghosts. That's boring. That's also RNG based, so don't even dare say that it makes a lot more money. No, it doesn't. At least not for me. My arm just doesn't work well. And personally, the maximum I can do with ghosts is about an hour per week. If I go down there for the second hour, I'm going to want to kill myself. Because that thing is so incredibly boring. But this, this I can continue doing. At least I'm... At least, I do have to go through some process of thinking instead of trying to solely per solely focus on trying to hit the goddamn ghosts over and over again. And let's just quick forward into the boss fight because it's beautiful and I want y'all to hear it. So now, I'll shut the fuck up and let y'all listen to this. Beautiful? I know. Just like me. And nothing much. This I took out this run specifically because I'm lazy to pick for the better ones. I got a bit more consistent and a bit more efficient on the later runs and it's slightly got and it's gone quicker and quicker. So uh um, now how much XP would I get if I did this for an hour? This is the last run I'm doing. I kind of did a half an hour test instead of a full hour one because, yes, half an hour rest so I don't die on my chair. Um, and uh, I'm lazy, so I'll just show you the before and after right here. And as you can see in the comparison, we are one level higher and we started at about 662 kxp ending up at about 1 million so after a bit of calculations in these half an hours we gained about 2.2 million pet xp which is well 4.4 million pet xp for the hour i think ghosts could be better but everyone hates that and yes and uh, bye.